Beijing Opera from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Beijing Opera or Peking Opera, simplify Chinese, Jing Ju, traditional Chinese, Jing Kai. Is a form of traditional Chinese theater which combines music, vocal performance, mime, dance, and acrobats. It arose in the late 18th century and became fully developed and recognized by the mid 19th century. The form was extremely popular in the Qing Dynasty court and has come to be regarded as the, one of the cultural treasures of China. Major performance troops are based in Beijing and Tianjin in the north and Shanghai in the south. The art form is also enjoyed in Taiwan and is spread to other countries such as the United States and Japan. Beijing Opera features four main types of performers. Performing troops often have several of each variety, as well as numerous secondary and tertiary performers. With their elaborate and colorful costumes, performers are the only focal points on Beijing Opera's characteristically sparse stage. They utilize the skills of speech, song, dance, and combat in movements that are symbolic and suggestive rather than realistic. Above all else, the skill of performers is evaluated according to their beauty of their movements. Performers also adhere to a variety of stylistic conventions that help audiences navigate the plot of the production. The layers of meaning within each movement must be expressed in time with music. The music of Beijing opera can be divided into the Xi Pi and the Er Huang styles. Melodies include arias, fixed tune melodies, and percussion patterns. The repertoire of Beijing opera includes over 1,400 works, which are based on Chinese history, folklore, and increasingly contemporary life. In recent years, Beijing Opera has attempted numerous reforms in response to sagging audience numbers. These reforms, which include improving performance quality, adapting new performance elements, and performing new and original plays, have met with mixed success. Some Western works have been adopted as new plays, but a lack of funding and adverse political climate have left Beijing Opera's fate uncertain as the form enters the 21st century. Section one etymology: Beijing opera or Peking opera is the English term for the art form. The Oxford English Dictionary's earliest record of the term is from 1953. In China, the art form has been known by many other names in different times and places. The earliest Chinese name was a combination of the Xi Pi and Er Huang melodies, and was called Pi Huang. As it increased in popularity, its name became Jing Xi. Which reflected its start in the capital city Jing and the form of the performance Xi. From 1927 to 1949, Beijing was known as Beiping, and Beijing Opera was known as Pingju to reflect this change. Finally, with the establishment of the People's Republic of China, the name of Beijing Theater in mainland China became Jingju. In Taiwan, this type of opera is known as Guoju. National theater style reflecting disputes over the true seat of the Chinese government. Section two history. Section two point one origins. It is regarded the Beijing Opera was born when the four great Anhui troops came to Beijing in 1970. Beijing Opera was originally staged for the court and came into the public later. In 1828, some famous Hubei troops came to Beijing. They often jointly performed in the stage with Anhui troops. The combination gradually formed Beijing Opera's main melodies. Beijing Opera is generally regarded as having fully formed by 1845, although it is called Beijing Opera, Beijing Theater Style. Its origins are in the Chinese provinces Anhui and Hubei. Beijing Opera's two main melodies, Xi Pi and Er Huang. Originated from Anhui and Hubei styles, much dialogue is also carried out in archaic dialect, originating partially from those regions. It also absorbed music and arias from other operas and musical art forms. Some scholars believe that the Xi Pi musical form was derived from the historic Qin Qiang, while many conventions of staging, performance elements, and aesthetic principles were retained from Kun Qu, the form that preceded as court art. 
Thus, Beijing Opera is not actually a monolithic form, but rather a coalescence of many older forms. However, the new form also has introduced its own innovations. The vocal requirements for all the major roles were greatly reduced for Beijing Opera. The Chou, in particular, rarely has a singing part in Beijing Opera, unlike the equivalent role in Kun Chu style. The melodies that accompany each play were also simplified and are played with different traditional instruments than in earlier forms. Perhaps most noticeably, Chu acrobatic elements were introduced with Beijing Opera. The form grew in popularity throughout the 19th century. The Anhui troops reached their peak of excellence in the middle of the century and were invited to perform in the court of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom that had been established during the Taiping Rebellion. Beginning in 1884, the Empress Dowager Cixi became a regular patron of Beijing Opera, cementing its status over earlier forms like Kun Chu. The popularity of Beijing Opera has been attributed to the simplicity of the form with only a few voices and singing patterns. This allowed anyone to sing the arias themselves. Beijing Opera was initially an exclusively male pursuit. The Qianlong Emperor had banned all female performers in Beijing in 1772. The appearance of women on the stage began unofficially during the 1870s. Female performers began to impersonate male roles and declared equality with men. They were given a venue for their talents when Li Mao Er, himself a former Beijing opera performer, founded the first female Beijing opera troupe in Shanghai. By 1894, the first commercial venue showcasing female performance troops appeared in Shanghai. This encouraged other female troops to form, which gradually increased in popularity. As a result, theater artist Yu Zhengting petitioned for the lifting of the ban after the founding of the Republic of China in 1911. This was accepted and the ban was lifted in 1912, although male down continued to be popular after this period. End of part one. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU free documentation license available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.